Hello everyone and welcome back to the COD Archive. In today's episode, we'll be going over some of the best hardpoint performances by Sib during week 3 of the CDL Major 1 qualifiers, including his record-breaking 2.7 KD performance against the Minnesota Rocker. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into the action. Because I think, uh, you know, Palace has become, I don't know, more breakable than maybe originally thought it's still very difficult but we've seen people find openings can you do it here if you are rocker subliners looking to make sure that is not going to happen and sip who has been shooting absolute laser beams nice back down a reach out by the way there like i thought he was going to take the fight a little slide to reposition sib is uh individually he is nasty yeah i mean just showing his yeah his talent this series right some of the worries maybe not the best stats the first couple of weeks doesn't matter they're three and oh but in this match number four for them he too but still some close spawns come for awakening in lens and sib's like all right i'm just gonna wait for everybody off a of spawn but this is what you needed a full 60 and you might just did it looks like kismet's gonna play for this and i don't hate it just playing for these maybe 20 seconds of scrap time alongside a sib and there we go, they're gonna it. find it. They win that kind of two on two, two on three, whatever it was, and it gets in the final 15 or so seconds. And yeah, when you're like, we you got a lead like this, every second can count. You're gonna get to, what, to just over 210. Now we go to the north side of the minimap and get ready for the next hard point to pop a sim, hitting shots at range, drop shot coming through for Linz and not connecting to Vivid, we now go. One through skies. Set up the tractor, he wants none of it. Third crew is going to come in. No kills through for him, but Sib right back to his heady, and he's able to combine with the shots from Hydra and take one down. It's 27 and 9 he's right hitting. now. He's hitting. 3.0 KD on the map. Does get taken down. Nice shots from Awakening. But 10 seconds to go, and yeah, New York knew what they were doing. They were playing for this, and that should do it. It's actually the furthest player up. Five in a row for Hydra. He's got 27 kills. And New York subliners win the match three to one. I mean, you kind of put that one onto your discipline, right? Like you, you, you let them get back. You had a lead of what, 90 points. You, you said it right though. I mean, that was a chance Rocker had to get back into it. They did get back into it, but you had such a significant lead. Comes down to one of the harder hard points to break in the game in New York. The poise is there. You hold strong. Yeah, it's a long-term investment plan. So you're 401k, man. Yeah, yeah. That, that money's like, it's like fake money. You know, you look at like your account, I'm like, I have so much money in there. I don't know what it's they doing. They find two through the back end, but now you have to deal with Hydra and they do just that. So the final 30 seconds should go in favor of LA, but now it's going to force the subliners off the rotation to another money hill over by the crates with the oh. cruise missile, just in case it get a little scary. No, they're going to be okay. But we still have Sip contesting this. Even with the pistol, he's able to find three and find the break. Oh my. 1v3 on the old time for Sip. The only thing that takes him out is a lingering trophy for his teammates, guys. Come here for Thieves. You've got Ghosty who can just stay safe in the hard point and then a passive angle being watched by Afro. He'll take care of the first, no problem. Sip with the fourth contestable. And oh my goodness, the snap back over to Ghosty. No trades allowed. And New York fourth three positioning out of a couple players out of the subliners and it eventually leads to the break. I thought this was a coffin dance when it started, but they have brought it all the way back. The battle between New York and LA is gonna go down to the wire. We're gonna get a 1v1 for the scrap time, which may seem a little insignificant, but this time is key for Thieves. Afro over the top with Sib. A little back and forth with the pistols out. Sib will once again finesse some of the scrap time. That will help New York get Cole turned around, though, and New York just keeps dancing. Oh, the room. Oh my goodness, the subs lighten up the kill feed for New York. A chance to still win the game here. Afro the first one to make his way through jump window, but cut down by Hydra, who continues to run in circles around LA Thieves. Cammy the last one to stand, not gonna find more than just a single kill, and it got close near the end, but New York's dominance early leads them to a map one win. Yeah, that's the biggest thing, man. <laughs> New York came on swinging. LA Thieves, they spawned in a little bit late, but they started the fight back. And that's the biggest thing that I was going to be worried about was where they were going to decide to just roll over and die in this map number one and move to the map number two. Because at that point, you're developing no consistency. You're not, not developing any fire underneath yeah. your chair to try to go into this map number two. But at least they showed the fight back at the end of that now map. Now we're going to rotate to the right side, chicken coop, but it's already going to be Kismet in a position. He actually doesn't find a kill. He might be able to drop it now. LA had the opportunity to hit that rotation. 
cut across the map though from New York. Sid able to find two on rotation on four in a row. Joe gives him the fifth. Does he get a read for number six? Been earned on the previous hard point. So 48 plays 46. LA, final couple of the gunfights as we open up the hard point. Do look solid, but we're still fighting for spawns here as the hard point opens. Yeah, you're still fighting for spawns, and at least there's only one player right now from LA in a position to make something happen. It's Afro. He's just waiting for his teammates to get back into the play. Eventually, Sib does sniff him out. So just gonna maneuver his way around here force la to not have that point instantly because he knows that they're coming from chicken coop he plays the cutoff he finds one him and kismet and skies combined for three and now new york are getting the time yeah really good start and la will overwhelm the only possessed member of skies in the hard point Siv also stunned oh dealt with though okay thought he was dead to right not the case so we'll see how new york trying to formulate a break as we go to a subliners listen it He's gonna go top He's gonna go top He's gonna go top He's gonna go top Top fire, one's been alley. Top fire, weak. Duck on A1 right now. A1, 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 last one. First one goes on back. Can New York have the response like they did the first time around at Ticket with a great hold, not letting any LA players get even close to him? <laughs> and that's great shots right there to Sib with the SMG. He's up to 28 and 14, dub positive, but the game is really close. Like, come on. Further through market. This is going to take a lot of time, though. And New York is already on the hard point. They've even got cruise missiles to try to get this thing through the finish line. 235, 214, and New York all in control at the moment. Yeah, once that cruise missile gets invested, they have all the info that they need to know. Joe Deceives is going for a flank. Cool. Let's turn around and put ourselves in a better position to win it. But it's only five seconds until they're able to call game. Everything is watched. New York are looking to close it out. Ghosty gets the first, a chance for him to jump on into maybe contest, but the kill comes through in New York. will survive through it. So once again, another hard point where it looked like LA was about to be down and out. They give themselves a real good chance. I think in particular that rotation from two to three, the scrap time of the last 25 seconds kept them in the game longer than maybe we would have expected. But at the end of the day, this New York team just moving a little bit differently and Sib is just, oh my God. Goodness, I, I mean, did it all himself for a couple of moments throughout that map, Jay. And he basically called a game right there at the very end because he had that cruise missile in his back pocket. If Joe Deceives hits that route without any information gained, he's probably able to make a play throughout a middle alley. But once that cruise gets invested, you now know exactly where every LA Thieves player is trying to attack from. We readjust our setup. We find the next set of kills, and they eventually call game. 22 non-traded kills out of save, but 32 and 17. Just yep. really took over on this map number four. So there you have it. These were some of the best highlights by New York Sib during week three of the CDL Major One qualifiers. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is the Cut Archive, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.